What's up guys? Me, Penelope, the LS, and the SAR are hanging out today. We have lots of parts that are here. We have lots of parts coming tomorrow. We're going to dismantle most of the engine. We have the cam, the timing components, valve springs, valve seals, gaskets. Uh, what else we got? Uh, head gaskets, new head bolts, a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna start tearing it down. We're gonna start by removing the heads. I have to take one of the heads to work tomorrow, remove one of the studs, the exhaust studs that was broken when I got it. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. First we take off the valve cover. Very good. So first we have four eight millimeter bolts holding the valve cover on. And this, and this. Yes, and this, perfect. And this. Let's get it done, baby. But I take these off. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Good. It's now out. So now let's get the other three done. Go. Wait, make sure it's on, baby. Go. Perfect. Good job. Now we do the next one right here. Make sure it's on. Perfect. Go. So we're going to remove the rocker arms. We're going to start from the outside in. Oh, hold on. All right, go. And let me do it. And we're going to remove it all as one assembly. Yep, there she goes. She wants to do it. All right, good. Now let's go to this one. Push the button all the way. All the way. Good, 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 good. Okay. Well, let's get the rest out. So the rocker arm assembly is out. I'm trying to leave everything on the right side this way, left side, that side. The push rods, I'm not reusing them, so it doesn't matter where I put them, but if you are reusing them, they need to go right back to whatever side it was on. Uh, I'm just gonna repeat this process on this side, and then we can start removing the head. All right, so both rocker assemblies are out. So far, so good, nothing crazy, nothing broken. So at this point, I'm gonna remove the heads. There's all these bolts up top. You got some in the middle, and you got some on the outside. So I'm gonna remove the spark plugs, and then I'm gonna remove all the uh, bolts and remove our first head. All right, so the heads are off. Well, the head is off. The other one still needs to come off. And the cylinders look pretty good. Nothing abnormal with the pistons. Normal stuff you would expect to see. The cross hatching is all there. And no lips or anything weird. So this looks like it'll just need a good cleaning. What do you think, Pika? Excuse me. I have Penelope removing the spark plugs on the other head. How's it going, P? Good? Not good, I guess. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Three more to go. All right, so this side also looks pretty good. Just carbon, which is expected. So we're probably just gonna clean all this up. Not today, some other time, but both heads are now off. And I think the last thing we're gonna do for tonight is remove this front cover. All right, make sure it's all the way on. Go. Wait, let me do this. I know, but I gotta make sure it's on, baby. Go. Good. Wait, let me do this. All right, she wants to do it by herself. Wait, wait, oh! It's not on all the way, baby. You gotta make sure that it's on nice. There we go. Good girl. 
All right, so now that the heads are off, I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this top surface and the pistons. I'm probably gonna use a brass brush. I had it soak in WD-40. Some people said that helps. And I have a few other things I'm gonna try and I'll let you know how it works out. <clears throat> but, uh... All right, so this was quite a process, but pistons are clean. The top of the block is pretty clean. There's some staining from the old head gasket, but I'm pretty confident that all the material, whatever is left, is off. So, yeah, a lot of elbow grease. I think next I'm gonna just remove the lifters and the trays. Those are all gonna get tossed away because I got brand new GM trays and LS7 lifters to be put in. Uh, gotta remove uh, oil pump, uh, timing chain gear, all that, and uh, more cleaning, I guess. All right, so got the heads back at home. So I'm gonna clean the surface, clean the combustion chambers, get it as clean as we got the block, get it all prepped. And then I'm gonna start removing the springs and the valves and all that. That way you can prep it for the new stuff. So here we go. All right, so the heads got them pretty much as clean as I'm gonna be able to. And I am ready to start removing the springs. That way I can clean the valves. Replace the springs with a set I got from Summit. I'll show you the uh, cam setup I'm gonna be running with the valve springs. Comes with valve springs, uh, seals, valve spring seals, or valve stem seals, whatever. The cam, and I believe it comes with retainers, but I'll have to open the box and verify that. But I plan on doing one set of springs at a time. That way I can clean, put it up, finish that, clean, or well, take it off, clean, whatever. So I'm gonna start with this one. So I just got done doing this valve. It's nice and polished. I used uh, sandpaper, scotch Bright. Uh, used some mother's polish to finish it. I think it came out pretty dang good. So this will be the first one done. It does take quite some time to get everything off, cleaned, but uh, this is probably the finished product of how all of them should work, uh, look like when they're done. So on the right, we have the OEM spring. On the left, we have the Summit Racing Spring that's part of the kit. And you can see there's at least, I don't know, quarter of an inch higher, maybe more. The coil is a little bit more unsprung, I guess you could say, and definitely stronger because I could move this, move the OEM one with my hand and this one's definitely a lot harder. So I already got one set in. So just a bunch more to go. So oil pump is off, timing chain, timing gear, cam is out, threw it in the trash already. So uh, now I'm gonna put the cam in, install the timing chain, the oil pump, all that brand new, and uh, get it a little bit closer to being complete. So uh, skipped a bunch of steps, but the heads are on, oil pans on, pulley, front cover, just uh, I need to put the rocker arms and the push rods, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get it done. So uh, yeah, almost well, done. I skipped a bunch because I just wanted it done. So the engine is now put together, all sealed up in one piece. And right now I took out the junk 305. So now we have lots of room for activities and a lot of cleaning to do because this is filthy and disgusting. But at least the hurt, disgusting 305 boat anchor heart is out. So I'll probably strip it apart and uh, just get ready to throw it away. All right, so this is what I'm left with, a dirty engine bay. And the next step, I'm going to degrease all of it, clean it all, paint it, and make it look as good as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, that'll pretty much be the last thing I decide to do well, right now. I'm lazy. Not really, but <laughs> I don't feel like recording all that. So I'll just, next video, I'll show you guys it done. Sorry for skipping a bunch. I just kind of want things done. It's tiring to do every little detail. 
Plus, I don't really think it's so much a DIY, more of a progress of the C10. So check it out, enjoy it, whatever. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Chris 92 Later.